The Samsung Galaxy Note 8 is a great successor for me. A short review you can watch here. Inside the box is the Note 8 together with the S Pen, a USB-C cable, a power adapter for adaptive fast charging, some literature to study, a SIM tool and also in-ear headphones with AKG branding because of the cooperation between both companies. These also come with extra earpieces in various sizes. So far so good, but we have also some accessories which we won't find that often. For example, a USB-A to USB-C and a micro USB to USB-C adapter. These are not only here for compatibility reasons, but also for using the Smart Switch app to connect two smartphones via cable and transfer data from the old to the new smartphone. It also works via Wi-Fi. A pair of tweezers helps to remove the pen tip from the S Pen and exchange it with one of the replacement pen tips, which come in two different types. The rest is just package material. The Samsung Galaxy Note 8 has a dual camera setup both of which have OIS. The camera is great. Samsung makes the best point and shoot around. Like all phones in good lighting, the shots are stunning. HDR performs well and is natural. Challenging backlit shots offer a good amount of detail and the quality between the two lenses is even. Here is regular, 5X and 10X zoom. Maximum zoom is better than most phones. Live focus lets you adjust the blur after the fact. On the phone, the photos look good, but pull them off, it's a different story. There's less detail and in low light, it's even worse. This only matters if you want to go to print. The reds are a little oversaturated in most photos as well. If you take the time to use manual mode at night, you can get some stunning shots. We were disappointed with the selfie cam. We look good, but the people in the background are usually a little out of focus, which is good for depth effect, but not if you want everyone to look their best. When it comes to taking video, the Note 8 is killer. Overall, we give the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 top marks for fast autofocus, blazing fast shutter speed, and the ability to take a great photo with little effort. The fingerprint sensor is easier to reach for right-handed people and the position change of the camera and heart rate sensor saves the camera from fingerprints. The S Pen is placed inside the body. It really motivates you to be productive and creative which is a big plus for me. Here I'll show you some interesting features. You can now not only just take notes on the always on display but also edit it. Up to 100 pages can be created and saved. These you can also pin on the always on display as a reminder for 10 minutes or work on them later. As soon as you take out the S Pen, a menu opens up. You can also open it by selecting the pen symbol or by pressing the button on the S Pen without touching the display. With Smart Select, you can select an image section and either pin it somewhere, edit it, scan text, create PNGs with transparency and even GIF GIFs. Screenshot notes are also possible. GIF GIFs also work with the Live Messenger feature to directly send it to someone or share it. With the Overview feature, you can put an active app in a corner and by hovering over it, it will go full screen for a short time. With a drawing app, launches Pen Up. Here you have a big choice of coloring pictures which you can either draw on free-handed or with the filling tool. The translation feature lets you choose two languages and by hovering over a word, you will get a live translation. An internet connection is needed for this. These were some chosen features. Of course, this was not all. The 6.3 inch Super AMOLED display with cinema format lets the Note 8 feel like a 5.5 inch device in your hand. It is beautiful with its saturated colors, great contrast and great reaction time. You only have to keep in mind that pictures might look different on other displays. The performance is still one of the best and the Note 8 manages every task and every game. With 6GB RAM it is relatively future proof. You can extend the 64GB of storage but with the Duos version you have to choose between a second SIM or a micro SD card. The 3300mAh battery is a little smaller than with the S8 Plus. The average user gets easily through the day and even with intense usage the runtime looks pretty good. Except the smaller battery, the Note 8 for me is a more perfect version of the S8 Plus and the Note 7. And I personally really like it because it's great to work with and it's one of the most beautiful devices for me. If you like this video, give us a like, otherwise the dislike button is right next to it. Consider subscribing so you don't miss any future content. My name is Umit for Mobile Geeks.